Hello, I'm so happy to see you. Today we're starting something new. Today we're going to talk about what's fair. And I want to know what you think. Is God fair? Sometimes it doesn't feel that way to us. It just doesn't. So we look at what the Bible says. Now I'm going to read it to you from a version called The Message. So that's on my tablet. Let me see. And the message says in Psalm 25, 8, it says God is fair. He is fair and just, and he corrects the misdirected and sends them in the right direction. That's pretty awesome. There's a lot of places that I could have picked from in the Bible that talks about God being fair. He is always fair. And so we trust what the Bible says. Um, I'm going to tell you a story that my Sunday school class just loved. It's about Haman and Mordecai, two men. And Haman was a bad guy, and Mordecai was a good guy. And Haman did not like Mordecai at all. Mordecai didn't do anything mean to Haman. Um, he just didn't think Haman was as good as God, <laughs> and Haman didn't like that. And so he was so mad at Mordecai that he wanted him dead. So he built a gallows. Now, I don't know if you know what a gallows is. Maybe you've seen it in a cowboy show where they um, build a great big thing to hang a guy on. And they have a rope and it's a noose and they hang him by the neck <laughs> until he's dead. That's a gallows. So Haman built a humongous thing so they could hang Mordecai. But before that happened... Everything turned around and it ended up that instead the king hung Haman on his own gallows that he built in front of everybody. And that just flipped the whole thing around. Now we like that story because it seems fair. Mordecai was a good guy and Haman was a bad guy and Horman, Haman wanted to hang Mordecai and it ended up being Haman hung. Oh, that's a lot. That's hard to say. And that seems fair. Right? So we like those kind of stories. But what happens when things are not fair? Sometimes the bad guy gets away with stuff. Right? Maybe there's a kid that's at school who is so mean and they get away with stuff. I remember my grandkids were so annoyed because there was a prize given out to somebody who was a leader and the teachers gave it to the biggest bully in the class because they didn't, I don't know, maybe they saw something that the kids didn't see, but they did not think that was fair at all. Sometimes that's like that. So what about, we just finished learning about Jesus dying on the cross for our sins. He never did anything wrong, and he died for all of us. That hardly seems fair, does it? But we like that story. That did not seem so fair, but that's a good story because it was a good thing for us, right? Our idea of fair isn't always the same as God's. So why is that? Because we don't have all the facts. We don't know everything that there is to know. And so we don't see it the same. Let me give you an example. Um, when my kids were little, my very littlest boy couldn't have any sugar. His tummy didn't know how to break it down. And so it made him so sick if he had sugar and he would end up being in the hospital. It was dangerous for him to have sugar, and so he didn't get to have it. We bought him sugar-free candies, and he could have different kinds of fruits, um, but not all fruits, because some had a complex sugar in it, and that's kind of getting hard for you guys to understand. But he could not have normal candy, or cake, or ice cream, or things like that, because it would end up making him seriously, seriously sick. Not just like the flu, but um, where he would be in the hospital for a long time. So I had him at the mall one day and there was somebody all dressed up and the kids were all running to him and having a fun time. And 
I let my kids go to visit this guy to see him. Some The mall was putting on a big party thing. And the kids came away with candy. This guy got to give them candy. And I let my three kids have candy. And I would not let the little guy have candy. Well, the one that was passing out the candy was, got so mad at me. He said I was not being fair. I let my other kids have candy and I didn't let the little guy have candy and I was not fair and he was mad. But what he didn't know, all the facts. He didn't know that my little guy would get so sick. He didn't know that my little guy understood that he couldn't have candy. My little guy was not upset that he couldn't have candy. He didn't even ask for it. He knew that it was dangerous and he knew that I would give him a different treat that the other kids didn't have. So I was being fair, but that guy didn't have all the facts. And so it looked like it was not fair. And sometimes that's why we think that God is not fair, is because he knows stuff that we don't know. And so it looks unfair to us. But who knows all the facts? God does, exactly. He knows all the facts and so he knows what's fair and what's not fair. And maybe the one who is, is mean has just needed something nice because there's bad things happening in their life. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I, I know that if God lets something happen, there is a good reason. And it's not up to us to get even or decide what's fair. We go by what God says. So I want to read you in Proverbs 3, 5. This is so good. It says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. That means that we, we trust that God knows all the facts. And we don't go with our own understanding because we don't have all the facts. We sometimes think we know all the facts. But do we know everything? No. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what's in the other person's heart. We don't know what, what they're going through. There are so many things that we don't know. And so we trust in God and lean not on what we know. And in all our ways, we acknowledge God and he will make our path straight. It means he won't, he won't lead us wrong. Good things will happen if we just trust him. And when things don't look fair, then we have to remember we don't have all the facts, but God does. And so we trust him in that. Can you do that? I think you can do that. That makes your life so much easier because then you don't get bent out of shape all the time. I know so many adults who are bent out of shape because things don't seem fair. And I don't want you to be one of them. I don't want to be one of them. Sometimes I am one of them, but God is not very happy when I get bent out of shape. Now, instead of a craft today, we're going to do a game. I told you what a gallows was. When I was a little girl, we used to play a game called hangman, and that's about a gallows. I think that's kind of creepy nowadays. Back then, it was just normal. So instead of a gallows, we're just going to draw a guy. So the guy is going to have a head, a body, an arm, another arm, a leg, and a leg. How many pieces is that? One, two, three, four, five, six pieces. Okay, maybe you guys know this game already. It's a word game. So I'm going, I have two words that I'm thinking of. The first one has five letters. The second one has six letters. Whoops. And you guys can guess it. So here is my space I'm going to draw the guy in. And every time you get a letter wrong, I add a piece of the body. And when I have the whole body there, then you lose. But if you guess the word before I have the whole body drawn, then you win. So, and I... Every time you guess a letter, whether it's right or wrong, I'm going to put it here so you remember what you guess. What should we start with? An A? That's the first letter of the alphabet. 
I'm going to put an A right there. And I'm going to put an A there so you know that we wrote it. What other letter? My name starts with a W. Let's choose a W. And there are no W's, so I'm going to put a head here. Can you guess another letter? A D? Whoops, you know what? I spelled this wrong. I need another. <laughs> I need another letter there. Okay. There's a D. How about an S? There's an S at the beginning of both of these. Oh, some of you guessed it already. Good job. So those of you who know what the word is, what letter should we guess next? Um, an M. Put an M here. An M is not in it. Maybe you didn't know this. How about an O? We'll put an O here. Now can you guess it? I'm going to finish filling it in for you. Sunday is the first word. What's the second word? Yeah, it's school. There we go. So you finished it before I finished my, my guy. So this is a fun game that you can play with your family or with your friends and guess some letters. And I like that. You can do animals, you can do any words, you can do whatever you want. It's a fun game. So that is our game instead of our craft. And we have a song. So I want you to remember for, for this week about being fair. Try not to get mad when things are fair. Try to figure out what God knows that you don't know. Maybe you'll be able to figure it out. And maybe you can't. Either way, we trust God, right? We trust that he knows. He knows what's fair. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. You're watching Life 3 Kids. What's next?